You know something really, really interesting? I never ever planned on having a talk with my grandfather about prison. Um, never got up and said, man, Papa's probably going to talk to me about that today. But he did it in a really, really kind of interesting way. We, um, we were talking about habits and that there were good habits and there were bad habits. I asked him why he didn't drink and he said, I tried it one time. I liked it so much I quit. I decided not to be a prisoner to it. And that's how that came up. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, son, if I'd allowed myself to drink, I'd have been an alcohol prison. If you think about what he was trying to say is that it's our bad habits we adopt and maintain that become the prison. They said, if you sleep in, you miss a sunrise, you're putting yourself in prison. If you're a late arrival to work, sooner or later you're gonna get fired. You're putting yourself in unemployment prison. If you are one of those people who accepts responsibility but doesn't fulfill it, then you're, you're putting yourself in that prison of doubt where people don't believe in you. So the saying in my creed that I wrote, I will be the prisoner of nothing, is directly related to the day my grandfather shared this with me and the story about him not drinking and all those things. He, he went to the same Baptist church for 66 years, sat in the same pew every Sunday, third row, right side. And I, I was thinking about that, and I realized that that was part of that too. He didn't want to be uh, in what he called uh, a devoid uh, spiritual state, where he wasn't feeling good about himself and wasn't operating that way. And that would have been putting himself in that prison if he didn't go and he didn't continue to fill himself up. Uh, in his spiritual life too. So all prisons um, of that type are stuff that we self-impose. So just remember, uh, don't be a prisoner, man. Don't go to prison. Don't put yourself in jail. And uh, these are choices we get to make. And I, I love that story. And it's um, something I've thought about a lot in my lifetime. So there you go. Find a way to use it.